In this video, we're going to talk about probability and interpreting contingency tables. Specifically here, we're going to look at things like the probability of A and B, the probability of A or B, and the probability of A conditional so or given B. So basically here, a contingency table is just something where they have in different rows and columns possible categories. So in this case, for example, in the rows, that's whether somebody likes Snickers or does not like Snickers. And then the third one here is just the sum. It's the total of those two. And as far as the columns go, there's you know, boys, girls, and then the total. So again, just the way to read this, this base, this 43 means that in our sample here, there's 43 people who are boys who like Snickers. There's 30 people who are girls who like Snickers, and so on. There's 73, the total. This is the total for this row. This means there's 73 people in total who like Snickers. Similarly, there's 27 who don't like Snickers, and you could break that down as 19 of them are girls, 8 of them are boys, and similarly, you could interpret these columns as, you know, there's 49 total girls, 39, 30 like Snickers, 19 don't, and so on. Same with the boys. So let's first answer a question like this. Uh, so a question that asks for the intersection or overlap of two things might in this table be something like, what's the probability of liking Snickers and being a girl? So this means, what this is asking for is, what's the probability of you select a random person, and what's the probability that it's both a girl and somebody who likes Snickers? So the probability of that person having both of those characteristics, well, let's see, there's 30 people in our sample with both those characteristics. 30 people who are girls, and they like Snickers. And so basically here, that's, there's 30 out of 100. So out of 100 possible people, 30 have both those characteristics, and that's really what this intersection thing is going for. This intersection is about having both of those characteristics. So this is 30 out of 100, which we could simplify if we wanted to as 0.3, but we could also just leave it as 30 over 100. Then, or B. So now, what if in that same context, we were asked what's the probability of a union B. So in this case, what if we were asked what's the probability of Snickers or being a girl? So now here it's kind of like, all right, well, what's the likelihood of finding somebody who's either is a girl or likes Snickers? So we could think about it as, all right, well, there's 49 girls. There's uh, 73 people who like Snickers, and either of them really count as our, uh, you know, as uh, you know, a part of this group liking Snickers or being a girl. So really, it's like the sum of 49 plus 73. But that's where we have to keep in mind. Well, technically, these 30 were double counted. They were a part of the 49, and they were also part of the 73. We don't want to double count them. So that's where we could kind of use our formula. Our formula of a or b is just a plus b minus the overlap. So here, simply, it would just be 49 my, uh, plus 73 minus 30. So whatever that is, over 100, would be your answer for what's the probability of um, Snickers or girl. Finally, what if you're asked something like um, a conditional probability, meaning something that's of the nature What's the probability of liking Snickers given that you're a girl? So this is where uh, the formula of, you know, in general, conditional probability A given B, uh, you know, the formula exists, right? It's the overlap divided by G, which we could think about it here as, you know what? The best way to do, con uh, you know, conditional probability when you're given a contingency table is just to narrow down the world to what's given. So in this case, if you're given that this person is a girl, then, uh, you know, to, so if the child in question is a girl, then, you know, you could narrow it down to this one column. So I'm kind of going to ignore everything else. 
So if I just say, all right, if the person is a girl, then what's the probability that that child likes Snickers? Well, 30 out of the 49 girls like Snickers. So that's really it. So this, you don't really have to do any math. It's just once you've narrowed it down to, you know, given that you're a girl, then out of 49 total girls, the probability of liking Snickers is, well, 30 out of 49. So this would simply be 30 out of 49. And that's how you can use contingency tables.